This is the Ready to Fly Quads 2205-2300 GT motor. I've been flying these motors for about a week, probably 20 batteries on them. I have smashed them into trees, bounced them off of concrete, and pushed them to what I figured would be their gnarly end, meaning that they're cheap little motors. Um, but despite all of that, these have actually done a pretty freaking decent job. Uh, they're very smooth, especially with these props, and I'm going to get to that in a second. And they seem to have a good punch at the top, so I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of them so far. I have done a little bit of racing with them and a lot of freestyle. Um, it, I use it on this uh, Astro X quad that um, I use primarily for freestyle and it carries my GoPro. So when I'm flying this with the GoPro I barely even notice that, um, that I'm flying it with that extra weight. Now that being said, because these are 2300 kV motors, what I'm doing is I'm running them on the Racecraft 5051 props. So because they're slower, um, they have a little bit more torque, and they're somewhat big motors, so they can kind of uh, spin the prop a lot faster um, and a lot more efficiently. And so I've, I'm really liking the combination of this prop and this motor. Okay, it's going to be really, really hard for you to see, but if you look up inside of the bell, you can see that there are magnets up there and the magnets are what rotate around the outside of the electromagnet to produce the thrust from the motor. Now the magnets in this motor are curved and like the industry trend um, curved magnets actually increase I believe the the surface area close to the stator which is the electromagnet on the bottom and the combination of more surface area closer to the stator generates more power across the entire motor. Again, this is an industry standard thing, but in general, um, you want to you want to see that property of a motor. Finally, the last thing that people always want to know is what's the weight. It weighs 30.9 or 31 grams. Finally, the last thing that people always want to know is what's the weight. It weighs 30. 0.9 or 31 grams. In addition, the, I'm told that the shaft on this is hollow and it's a silly feature but there's a little ribbing here across the top of the motor that helps bite into your prop pretty well and I'm a pretty big fan. Other than that, not a lot to say. Check out some flight footage and um, thrust tests after this to follow.
So yeah, in the end, nothing really earth shattering. It's a good little motor. It does its job. It's only $16 if you buy the one out of four. Is it better than an Emacs Red Bottom? I'm not so sure. It uh, the the red bottoms I found were a little bit not very rugged, and um, they probably weren't quite as smooth as this. But I'm not sure that I would choose one over the other based on anything that I've seen here. I, I like both motors; both would do well. Um, I've enjoyed flying these, so take it as you will. Mm -hmm.